The Venus Project described a future world without money, without government, but with robots and advanced artificial intelligence. A future where everyone will get everything they need to live free as in a library not only inspires a desire to believe that this will happen, but also many questions. Today, we will try to address the key of these questions. The project of a bright technological future is described in detail in the video at the link in the hint. In short, the founder of the project, Jacques Fresco, considered the only right way for mankind to develop, one which all the boring, dangerous, and monotonous work is done by robots and advanced artificial intelligence. People live in smart cities, which are completely self-sufficient automated systems that take into account not only their own needs, but also the needs of the planet. Free access to everything we need, education, medicine, fully roboticized farms and industries, and city systems controlled by artificial intelligence that make sure there is enough for everyone. The idea is terrific, but many people still have questions. For example, what's the difference between the Venus Project and communism and socialism? Jacques Fresco felt that the transition to a new organization of the life on planet might not be a revolutionary one, but an evolutionary one. The probable cause of change would be a global crisis, as robotization would take away jobs from large numbers of people. They would lose purchasing power and anything produced by large companies and corporations will remain unclaimed. Thus, according to Fresco, humanity must realize that the consumer economy, like the monetary system, is obsolete. Here, we can fall into a protracted economic depression, or we can prepare for that time and transition to a resource-based economy in which science and technology ensure the rational use of resources for the benefit of all humanity and nature. The transition to this economic model is systematic replacing old cities with new ones backed up by experiments and testing of hypotheses for the best decision of these self-sufficient, highly automated cities. The very construction of these new cities and the disposal of obsolete ones is also being automated, which, in the long run, will also not require human participation. A sufficiently developed network of such cities will make it possible to abandon the now obsolete monetary relations. This is something other than taking money from the rich and giving it to the poor. The next question for the Venus Project concerns the details of artificial intelligence. After all, in order to know people's needs, to control appropriate and sufficient production, a system of sensors must be implemented everywhere.